Okay, I'm sorry. Hello again. No. What? What's that you're making? It's a necklace, Nipoko. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. When my little lover peels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. <laughs> If I was a woman, I wouldn't think much of a wire necklace. It's not made for a woman. I've got my sights on tastier dishes than women. Flesh as smooth and tender as a maiden. Bones as soft and white as a newborn babe. Rabbit blood. That's what gets my juices flowing. <laughs> Ah, so you're making snares to trap rabbits. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? Damn right I do. Isn't it painful? Only if I get me fingers caught. I'm talking about the... You... <laughs> I'll see you later. As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. <laughs> Mr. Fitzgerald? Quash, I need to speak with you urgently. What's the problem? Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? McGuire says you did. You don't believe that damn hooligan, do you? Why not? His probation officer could tell you a tale or two. Have you heard about the gem which Pegram found? I've heard a rumor, but you can't believe everything you hear or see, can you? Where can I find Professor Pegram? I heard he's gone fishing. I don't know where. What can you tell me about the castle? There is nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle? I used to spend one of We didn't go. You haven't been up? No. Can I get you another drink? Oh. No, thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. I want tablets and herbs. What is this red blood? Why is that? I used to bleed every time there was a pl I wouldn't have minded. Do you recognize the man? Uh, no. Look closely. No, I... See you later. He wasn't listening. Hello there. Uh, pleased to meet you, I'm sure. I'm a brave. Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. I saw a pint with our esteemed host, I might add. No! <laughs> Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest, that's why. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bid. Poor Michael's seen red over the business, and I don't blame him. Can you tell me more about the landlord? Mick, the trouble is... I never... Fast, the griff... Do you... I'm... You... What? Who knows? What can now? Yes. 
Hand up your hind. What? It's you. What? Uh, there's no. Was it this? I can't. Have you? Ma, and let me. There we. Oh. Hi. Was... Goodbye for now. Ah, uh, good riddance. Top of the morning. I beg. Well, that's. Do you want? Whoa. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Yeah. I could. It's no problem. When the Undertaker comes to kill. Do you know Sean Fitzgerald very well? I know him enough not to sell him more. He's like oh no. There's no. Do you know? Indeed. Are in a manner right with that? I, I know. And what? When I did he, he could what the his I had I she's not her. It was I knew it. No. Can I? It's they call no. that's uh, especially I don't have you don't change the subject. Are you gonna pay me Pegram's rent or not? No way. No. Listen, but I need. Damn right. Excuse. Me. I. Oh, that's okay. Have you? No. A word. What? You're. A... I. It's all. Who else was? It he... was. At... I could have told. He might have. Anyway. Good for you. Man. I'll try a glass of beer. Is this your first pint? Uh, well, beer. That... It shouldn't be. And finally. In other words, thanks. As the man raised his arm to drink, I snatched the towel away. Hi, my name's Sto. Hello there, mister. What can I... Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I? No. I mean... Do you know anything about Pegram's... Only that he didn't have the right... What he needed was... Sh Pegram... Is that... Is the science... Understand it. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. Well, <laughs> fast... <laughs> is it true that Pegram found a valuable... What? Did I? I tried. What the? Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. Can you tell me anything? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. You should ask. Would you? That's right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. I taught you. <clears throat> yeah, I am. Uh, but I. How come you did? I didn't know they'd gone until the last. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink from who? Shame on you. Just a point this time, Michael. One point of round coming up. <laughs> Do you remember Sean Fitz? I can picture the scene as if it come to think of it. Fitzgerald, he was sp Bye for now. <laughs> Hello. Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. You don't believe him, do you? Patrick Doyle is a moron and a... Even so, he saw you talking to Pegram. You can't prove that, mister. See you later. Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? Are you sh Oh, yes. It was him, all right. We well, he didn't... I saw them to... I wish you'd told me that sooner. What were they... Pegram gave Fitzy a box. I knew it. But how am I going to persuade him to... Break his fingers. Nah, I couldn't do that. 
I could. Thanks for the offer, kid. Chinese burns? Do you know where I could find Fitzgerald? He's inside, but you won't get no sense out of him. How come? Is he drunk? He's like a frightened rabbit. Why the fella's scared of him? What's Fitzgerald scared of? Everything and everyone. So I shouldn't have any trouble getting. He's a pushover. Try the soft touch. I heard that Pegram had found a le That's right. It's been the talk a lot. You haven't seen the gem, have you? Hell no. If I was. He could be li See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Hello. McGuire says, what's more, he saw I knew this would happen. Just my luck. I need to talk to Professor. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah. You're not in the hell no. Well, I... I'm not in a position to make judgment show. That's between you and your... All I want is to talk to Pegram. But he's not here. I know that. So where did... I don't know. He can't... He asked me to give this... Show me what's in the package. I, I can't do that. Why not? I promised the prof... So what? So where... You don't know the... This is your last chance. I've been patient with you, but... But he'll kill me. Who will? The man from Paris. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-crossed Marquet... No. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. Give the package to me. No. I don't know how to... I wish I... Here, Maguire, come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out! <laughs> Noisy little tyke. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy maker. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. I was telling the truth. Okay, okay, come. I was standing here when I saw this beautiful red sports car. Would you look at that, says I. And I going over to take a closer look. Next thing, Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. But the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy. I hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out. And I couldn't believe my eyes. He was dressed like a bloody pixie. Did this pixie... I couldn't... I... Sorry. Did Fitz... I did See you later, kid. Okay, mister.